Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your model making needs. eModels.co.uk, make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to a little brief announcey video. Now, if you know me and you know my channel, you know that I also run a Facebook group called the Model Makers Boom Hut. It's a nice little group where people just hang out, they show off their stuff, they get lots of advice from each other, and they make lots of friends. Now, if you've been in that group for a while, you'll also be aware that two years ago, back in 2017, it's long, long ago when Ted had brown hair and dad was a young shaver of a lad. We ran a group build and it was called the Egg Mopelmacken. Basically, we challenged all the members to make the silliest thing they could using an egg kit like a chibi tank or a chibi plane or something like that. Just to get in there and have fun with it and make something silly. We had loads of good entries and it was good fun. Now, if you've also been a member for a while, you'll know that we didn't do one of these in 2018 last year because of the reasons. However, it's a new year, it's 2019, and we need to do another Mopal Mac and build. So I present to you this year's group build for the Boom Hut. It is the 2019 Mopal Mac and sh kit group build. Yes, what a great name. <laughs> you can see where the name doesn't really, there's nothing to read between the lines there. It's gonna be fun because it's gonna be bad. So what is this group build? Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna challenge you to make a terrible, terrible kit with very limited resources. It's gonna be based on starter kits. Now, if you don't know what a starter kit is, a starter kit is a lie perpetrated by the model making industry. You get a really cheap, crappy kit, you get some terrible paints, the worst brush in the world, and a tube, yes, a tube of glue. And they expect children to build these and not actually have a bad time. Whereas most people get them, build them, and never make another model kit again. It's a bit like learning to ski on ground made of razor blades with no skis. It's kind of really, it's not, it's not pleasant. So for the sake of this, we want to make it fun. So there's some restrictions and some rules, and it's open to anybody in the Model Makers Boom Hut. Now, there's not many prizes. It's just a fun thing. We want to have a great time and get the community buzzing and seeing how well everybody can do with these kits. So here are the basic rules. Now, I will put a post up in the Model Makers Boom Hut with a lot more information. So do go and read the sticky post. It should be at the top of the page. If you're on a mobile device, you might need to click the thing that says show the sticky post or show the pinned post, whatever it says, but all the information will be on there. So rules and regulations, dead simple. First of all, obviously you need to be a member of the Model Makers Boom Hut. So pop along to Facebook. I'll put the address up here, somewhere there or there, it, it'll appear. Go along, click on the, I want to join this group button and we'll let you in, not a problem. If you're already a member, you're already in. Next, you need to make sure you get yourself a starter kit. Now there are some restrictions. It needs to be a starter kit that comes with paints, brushes or a brush and some glue. You can actually buy kits that come with paints and stuff like that, but they're proper pots of paints and they're proper brushes and proper glues. We, we don't want that. The whole point of this is to relive the suffering of being a child and being given terrible paints and brushes to make a model and not having any decent tools of any kind. That's the whole point. We want to encourage it just for the fun. Now there's lots of different brands available. You can get Airfix, there's Italarian, there's some other ones. So wherever you are in the world, you can probably pick one of these up. They're very cheap. There are some very big starter kits like the big 124 Spitfire that comes with paints and brushes. But frankly, if you want to paint a Spitfire this big with a brush that's that big, uh, that much paint, you, you're an idiot. So don't, just make sure it's a little cheap, cheap starter kit. Now where the fun comes in on this group build and by fun, I kind of mean schadenfreude and sheer bloody minded torture, let's just be honest. Where the fun comes in is that you're gonna be severely restricted on what you can use to make this kit. Now, it's a starter kit, so it's gonna come with a glue of some sort, some paints and one or two brushes. Now choose wisely because you can only use the glue, paint and brushes that come with the kit. You can't use any other glue, any other paint or any other brushes. So if you get a kit with one brush, 
that's it. If you get a kit with two brushes, yeah, you're a bit better off. Now there are also some other things you can use. There's a list of pre-approved items that you're allowed to include, and this has got to be things that you would find around your house. Remember, we're trying to recreate you being seven and a half years old and building a crappy kit you've bought from the model shop and having no tools or anything to, to build it with. You've got to recreate that. So here's the list of pre-approved items. One cup, one bowl, unlimited water, unlimited kitchen roll, and one pair of scissors. So cup, bowl, kitchen roll, water, one pair of scissors. These are the predetermined allowed items. You can also then on top of that, have three items of your own choice with the only restriction being that they've got to be something lying around the house. They, they can't be model making tools. It's not allowed. You're not allowed any model making specific tools. You've got to have something that's lying around the house. So you might choose, for example, uh, a sharp kitchen knife, or you might choose a pair of tweezers or a nail file or something. It's three things that you think you'll need to build your kit. Now you have to decide these at the start and you have to stick to those three. You can't add any other items. And that's it. In a nutshell, you have to make a terrible kit using very limited resources and try not to lose the will to live. So how is it going to work and how can you join in? Well, it's going to be quite simple and straightforward, not quite as rigid as the last one was. Basically, in the next sort of one to two weeks, uh, the admin team from the Boom Hut are going to do a live stream. And that live stream will be the official start of the group build. They're actually going to be joining in with you and building alongside you. So they'll be making a start on theirs in that live stream. Up until that point, you've got plenty of time to get your kit choices, order what you want. And what you'll need to do is go onto the Boom Hut and put a post up with a picture of the kit you're going to build. And you need to list in that post the extra three tools that you're going to use. Because remember, you get the stuff that comes with the kit, the five approved items and three other tools of your choice. You need to announce what those are to join in because we need to know in advance that you're not cheating and suddenly swapping things out. It doesn't really matter, but it just makes it more fun. You've got that tactical choice of what you're going to use for those three tools. It's more fun than for people to watch and see how you get on if you've chosen a hairpin, a pencil and a roll of sellotape when you need a fourth tool that you didn't plan for. It's more fun that way. So you need to do a post over the next one to two weeks of the kit you're going to build and what tools you're going to use. So like I said, that first live stream that the admin team do, that will be the official start time. So get thinking and get choosing. Now the live streams, we'll probably end up doing three or four of them because we'll do them as the bill goes on. We'll probably do like one a week over the few weeks. Um, I think the admin team have said they're just going to do the work on them during the live stream. So it'll probably take them a few weeks. You've got plenty of time to get yours done. They are going to be a little different though, because the live streams themselves aren't just going to be us talking to you. Only a few of the actual admin team are going to be doing their builds for this group build. There's going to be seats left over in the live streams for you to join in. And we're going to make them open to Boom Hut members. Each time we do one, we're going to put a link up in the Boom Hut so you can join in the live stream. And we'll cycle around people coming in. There's about three or four spaces left for people to join in. We'll cycle around and give as many people as possible a chance to join in. And you can show us how you're doing. Give us all your woes and stresses that the build has caused and just have a good time. We'll try and get as many people in as possible. And that's basically it. It's just a silly bit of nonsense for the next few weeks where we just basically commiserate and suffer. It's going to be torture, but it's going to be great fun pointing at each other's work. Because let's just be honest about this. None of us are going to make anything half decent. It's all going to look like complete, utter and biblical ass. If you've ever tried one of these starter, you know, it's it's going to be a mess. It's going to be painful, but it's going to be great, silly fun. So start planning, get thinking, get being tactical with your tools that you're going to choose. And don't forget, of course, if you're not already a member of the Boom Hut, do go and join the Model Makers Boom Hut. I'll put the address down here again. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model boom hut. And we shall see you on the other side. Adios, amoebas.